Uh, the only reason uh, his first, uh, he, oh, the only reason he's our first guest tonight is because he's been moaning on the air all week long about this. Please welcome the controversial but lovable Howard Stern. Hi, Howard. No, no, we're... How are you doing? You know what always uh, strikes me interesting about you? You're such a, you have such a baby face. You look yeah. like a little kid. You're yeah. very young. I am. I'm young, young at heart. Yeah, I'm really, I'm very happening, aren't I? Hey, I look good tonight. You, uh, There's a lot of pressure on me to come out here no, and wait, do Let well. me ask you a question before yeah. you get into that. How do, how do we get K-Rock out of that? W-X-R-K. Is that just, they take the last let me, K? Let me say something before you get to K-Rock, because I have nothing bad to say about K-Rock. The people I'm working for now are lovely. This is the best radio station in the country. Mm -hmm. I want to say something that uh, being back in this building makes me nauseous. <laughs> I think the biggest bunch of creeps run this company. I think when I got fired, it was, and you know it too, Dave, it's nothing you haven't said to me before. And, uh, really? And uh, they know it. The people who fired me, though, are suffering now unbelievably. How so? Well, let's face it, all the ratings. I used to work for NBC Radio. WNBC uh, Afternoons, yeah, 3 and to I, 6. Know, and I used to think the station was happening. I yeah. got, when they fired me, I was upset. I thought the station was happening. But I realized the station's not happening. I was happening. Mm -hmm. the, the damn station wasn't happening. I was happening. And when I left the station, everything, uh, everything fell apart there. Uh -huh. They got a bunch of jerks there. They got uh, Imus and Soupy Sales. And no, I thought you, I thought you liked uh, Don Imus and Soupy Sales. No, I hated them. I hated working with those guys. I had a... <laughs> Oh, yeah, real creative. The mouse. No. Give me a break. <laughs> but I could have done that on Ed Sullivan. Uh, I miss his history. Soupy's history. The but now, entire now, NBC radio division is history. <laughs> and uh, you know it, David. All right, but did, did, weren't you... You were the one who called me when they hired Soupy and said, what the hell is this? What are they bringing him back for? And don't deny it. But is, isn't it true, Howard, that at some point in your life, Don Imus was kind of an influence on your career? No, I never really liked him. Never thought he had any talent. Uh, in fact, it's, I'll be honest with you. I don't think he had much... In fact, most of the people in radio don't have any talent. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's a cruel joke that uh, I ended up in radio. Yeah. Where, where, should, where do you see yourself? Where would you rather be? Well, I would rather be on TV mm -hmm. or in film. Yeah, film. Well, that'd be good. Yeah, I would like that a yeah, lot. Yeah. And, uh, but television would be just fine for me. <laughs> I really feel I was born to be on television mm -hmm. or something, but yeah. I can't imagine God is playing... God is mm -hmm. testing me. Are you, are you close to any kind of a film or television deal, Howard? Yeah, very can, close. Yeah. But we got more radio deals going on. You want me to tell you about that? No. Oh. <laughs> Uh, no, we'll get we'll get to the radio deals in a second. But what what kind of TV deal? Are we talking about some kind of a cable thing? I'm working. No, no, no cable. Dave, when I come on, I'm talking about 12:30 night. I think I'm gonna have to go up against you. Oh, Let me just no. make an announcement here, because <laughs> Dave Dave doesn't have the guts to tell Johnny Carson this. He's going to work for the Fox Network, and uh, and he's not even gonna tell Johnny about. It. He's gonna throw a rock through Johnny's window in Malibu. Uh, <laughs> so what about that Fox Network? You, you think that's gonna work out? Uh, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see what happens. I think Johnny's in trouble, Dave. Really? Yeah, I think he is. Based on, on what? Uh, based on the fact that he's been on too long. He's kind of like Imus. He's kind of like been on too long, you know? They need a young guy, a young whippersnapper like yourself doing mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I think television, I, I belong on television. I think that radio for now is, uh, you know, what I'm doing. We're, we're starting... How long have you been in radio? How old were you when you first had your first job? Ten years ago I started. But now we have a nationally syndicated radio program, Dave. I'd like to mention this. It's uh, with D.I.R. Lorimar. We're going to be on every... Uh, Every state in the country. Counting down the hips, probably. Yeah, it's gonna, no, no countdown. Yeah. I'm no Casey Casey. Uh -huh. I'm no jerk. You can count down your own damn records. I, you don't need me to do that. <laughs> Everybody here knows how to count. All right, uh, we'll do a commercial here, Howard. When we come back, you tell us what you're going to do on your uh, syndicated okay, sure. radio show. All right, no we'll, we'll be back here with Howard. <laughs> here with uh, Howard Stern and WXRK. Is that the, that's right. W WXRK. I yeah. hope Jerry Garcia is feeling better. Man, was I shocked. Imagine that guy going into a coma. I can't imagine. The picture of health and Jerry Garcia goes into a coma. <laughs> yeah, I well, got nervous. I was afraid we wouldn't have any more 15-hour concerts with him in Hot Tuna. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm glad. Hot Tuna? Yeah. Uh, now tell us the kind of things you're going to do in this uh, syndicated radio show. Well, uh, we're going to bring uh, lesbian dial a day to the rest of the country. I've told you about that. <laughs> People call up and you try and fix them up with various folks yeah, in the Yeah, you know, Jim Lang Jr., I uh, become, I actually become the Jim Lang Jr. experience. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, I always thought that this was a thing that only New Yorkers could handle, Dave, but mm -hmm. I think the rest of the country is ready. Yeah. And when, when can we uh, start listening for the show? Hopefully for September 1st is our uh, air date. Yeah. All and across the country. Yeah. And then we have other big news that I'm announcing on your show for the first time. This is going to freak some people out in Philadelphia. We're going to start doing our morning show, not only in New York, but it's going to be aired over WYSP-FM in Philly. Simulcast. So we're simulcasting into Philadelphia. So you're building a little network. We're building a mini network yeah. because I can't wait around for any more networks to uh, ask me to work. You're I'm going to start my own, own damn network. Yeah. Going city to city. City to city. Now, do you get more money when you go to Philadelphia? Getting a lot more money, yeah. yeah. Getting yeah. more money. In fact, uh, leaving NBC. NBC hardly paid me. Uh, I'm not going to get into the specifics. Now, didn't they re renegotiate your deal at one point? Didn't you go to them and say, I really ought to be making more money? And they said, okay, Howard, we'll Dave, I money. was carrying the radio station, as you know. You know, it sounds awfully pompous when it comes from me, but in all sincerity, <laughs> nobody else... <laughs> nobody else is going to toot my horn, if you know what I mean. Uh-huh. So I have to come on here and say this myself. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> NBC was making like $5 million a year off of my show. Yeah, just selling time on your program. Selling time on my program. Yeah. Family entertainment was what we were about. And we were... <laughs> well, if you're the Manson family, okay? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. <laughs> if you have sixes carved in your head, this is uh, for you. <laughs> But uh, they held me back. I tried to get a network deal with NBC. I wanted to do no a network go. show. No go. They yeah. held me back every step of the way. Now, why did you get uh, released? What, did we ever get to the bottom of that? Well, there was a couple of stories going around, Dave. And right now, you know, I was too emotional the last time I was on to talk about it. You mm -hmm. can see I was deeply upset. Yeah, you were. It had been a couple of months right yeah, after. So it was yeah. a very emotional yeah. experience. I was crying every night yeah. of my life. But um, the reason I got fired was because the chairman of the board at NBC decided to tune into, of RCA, mm -hmm. decided to tune in. Now, to do you, my show. how do you know this? Because I know, I know everybody in the business, Dave. No, I just, I've heard rumors of this. I've heard rumors about rumors, this. You know, the yeah. rumor mill was yeah. flying. Uh -huh. And um, <laughs> I heard that the chairman of the board was rolling by in his car, and he heard me doing bestiality dial a date, and the guy got bent out of shape. But I wasn't really going to do it. I was talking about doing it. I was discussing it. Just conjecturing that perhaps Conjecture, you would do it. Conjecture, Dave. Yeah. No, but exactly. you, you would never do that, would you? Of course not. I wouldn't set a man up with a dog. I think that's sick. <laughs> You know, at some point you have to draw a line, don't you? Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. Uh, and you went to London a couple of months ago? Went to London. We did our show from the Hard Rock Cafe. Those guys bags, they kicked me out of the Hard Rock Cafe. I'm never coming back again. I mean it, Dave. And um, you know they are. I, I've never, never actually been there, but oh, yeah. I, I've heard just nothing. Hey, what do you want to do? Go see Elvis's old guitar hanging on a wall? It's still the same crummy hamburgers. Just because they have Elvis's guitar hanging on the wall doesn't make it any better or worse. Yeah. I'm sick of the Hard Rock Cafe. I'm tired of those yeah. hip places. Uh, so it's, how, how did the audiences like you in London? Oh, they hated us. Yeah. We are the ugly American. <laughs> <laughs> you know that. Yeah, we did nothing to uh, help the situation yeah. over there. And you, you, have, uh, you have here a, uh, uh, this is the current issue of, well, actually the September 86 issue of... Uh, Penthouse Penn Magazine. Big article in there about uh, you and... Uh, uh, and a lot about yeast infection. You know, I had a great idea to, on this show. You guys never let me do this. I want to ask you why. I was going to come out tonight. I was going to bring two big fluffy pillows mm -hmm. with me. And I thought we would do the interview in a more comfortable environment. Instead of sitting in the chairs where I tend to look bad because you see a side shot of my nose, I would have liked to have sat on the floor in big fluffy pillows and done it like that. Kind of yeah. like interview style, but everybody. And, and you that's your like idea that of a really good idea. You don't like that? Well, I, I don't know that big fluffy pillows really makes that much of a difference. You want a fluffy pillow next to me? No, I don't, I don't think you don't so. Think I mean, so. I, yeah, Howard, you're, you're happening, remember? That's true. Yeah. So, so I think the, the pillows would only interfere with your happeningness. Yes, I, yeah. so true. Um, so, uh, Let me just say that I am very glad to be done with NBC. All right, you said that. Honest you to God, that. I am. I think you mentioned that. All right. Uh, K-Rock. K-Rock, WXRK. He's on in the morning now. You, you, you moved from afternoons to morning. Was that a tough transition for you? Oh, it's a lot of fun getting up at four in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really enjoy it. Yeah, 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 but we did it for more money, basically. Not that I love radio. In fact, I hate radio. Uh -huh. I hate, I, <laughs> I really do. Never go into radio, although you do get women. Is that right? Yeah, outside of the hotel, there were like five women waiting for me. I couldn't believe it. I have groupies. Would you hear it or in London? No, I'm talking about right here. You stay in a hotel. Yeah, stay in a hotel. Okay. Uh, it's Howard Stern, uh, kids, uh, on Monday through Fridays at WXRK. What time is it, Howard? Six to ten in the morning. Six to ten, a lot of time checks. It's going to be, yeah, a lot of fun, a lot of time checks, a lot of weather. We like to give the weather. Howard Stern. Nice folks. to see you. Thank again. you very much, Howard. Nice to see you. We'll, we'll pause. We'll be back there.